hello everyone welcome back so in our previous video actually we have completed this training components okay and everything is working perfectly so in this video actually we'll start writing our uh, model evaluation stage okay uh, because after training also you need to check your model performance like what is the accuracy score and what is the loss and all okay so in this video actually uh, let's do the experiment on the notebook side okay so in our next video we'll be writing everything as python script okay so first of all what i will do i will create another uh, a notebook here okay so let's let me create so i'll just name this as st uh, underscore zero five uh, dot ipnb okay so i'll just name this stays as let me name it i'll just remove this yeah uh model evaluation okay and let me select the kernel now i'll take one code cell yeah so the first thing what i need to do i think you remember i first of all i need to change my directory so let's copy the same thing one by one so if you see i'm inside research so i'll change to my root directory okay all right now I will import TensorFlow. Yeah, so I have uh, imported TensorFlow. Now, what I need to do, I think you remember, I need to load my model. Okay, so this model I need to load because uh, to do the evaluation, I need to lo load my training model. Okay, and with that model, actually, uh, I will run on top of my uh, test data. Okay, and I will do the evaluation. So let's load the model. So here is the code. So basically, so basically what i'm doing here uh, i'm just uh, loading if you see here tf.keras.model.load model okay and here i'm giving the path okay inside artifacts inside training i have model.h5 okay so now let me execute yeah so model has load successfully now i think you remember we need to write the entity okay so let me write the entity for this evolution stage as well first of all i will import some of the libraries and let me write my entity okay so these are the entity is needed so i'll execute so we have successfully uh, created the entity now i also need to create my configuration manager okay so this configuration manager so let me create before that let me uh, import some of the libraries as you can see so let me import them and i also need another library or and i also need another uh, library called save json okay so this uh, uh method actually we have already created inside our utils okay as you remember save json okay if you open my uh this one utils common okay so save json i think i have created here uh save json see so this this is uh so this thing actually i'm importing because uh whenever i will be uh, getting all of my you can say loss and uh accuracy score okay i will save as json format okay so that user can see that so that's why i, I have imported this thing so now let me uh execute First of all, I will initialize my uh, configuration manager class. Inside that, I'm doing the same thing as I did here. Okay. I'm loading my parameters and my configuration. Then I'm creating the root directory. And inside that, I will uh, create one method called get uh, validation configuration. Okay. So these are the configuration are needed. Basically, here, if you see, I'm loading my uh, model. Okay. So this is my model file path. And this is my training image path. Okay. Inside uh, data ingestion, I have paid images. Okay. So here, actually, I'll be doing the split and i will take my validation speed okay and i will do the validation check and here uh, i'm also loading my parameters okay and this uh, from the params itself i'm loading my uh, image size and batch size okay so that's it now uh, let me execute yeah so now what i need to do i think you remember i need to create my components okay so to create the components first of all uh, again uh, let's import some of the libraries so i will import this libraries okay First of all, I will create one evaluation class, okay? And inside that, actually, it will take your evaluation configuration. And here I am initializing my configuration, okay? So the first method actually I'm going to write here, which is nothing but uh, your value generator, okay? So this method actually, so this method actually uh, will try to prepare your validation data set, okay? So here, if you see the same thing I was doing inside my training as well. So I was uh, uh, like creating my, if I show you, I was creating my. Mm, Train, train generator okay train valid generator 
and instead of that here what i'm doing i'm only generating my validation okay so it will basically take your image from that folder and it will uh, give some of the validation set okay and on top of the validation set actually we'll be doing the evaluation of our model okay that's it now once uh, we have loaded the data i also need to load my model okay so for this actually i will again create another method called load model and i will keep it as a static method okay and uh, this is going to be my final evolution uh, method so here actually evolution will be happening uh, let me write it here okay so basically here i'm loading my model okay after that i'm generating my validation okay my valid generator then i'm evaluating my model okay and score would be saved here so after getting this code actually i also need to save it as json format so again i will create another method okay so this is the method and uh, I think now everything is fine so it will basically take your first of all loss okay loss would be present at the first index and accuracy would be present at the second index okay then it will save as json file now i think everything is perfect now what i will do i will execute this cell okay now let me uh, write the pipeline as well so this is going to be my pipeline and i will also plot my exception So basically what i'm doing i'm loading my configuration and from this configuration i'm getting my validation configuration and that validation configuration i'm passing to my evaluation class okay and once it is done actually i'm running one by one first of all i'm like running my evaluation okay here if you see and after that i'm also running my save score okay so basically after doing the evaluation it will also save your scores okay now let me execute and see whether it is able to save my uh like you can say uh, loss and accuracy or not okay so let me execute see it is still running so basically it is uh, loading the image and on top of that actually it is uh, performing the evolution okay see the progress is going on let's wait now here if you see it is telling json file save at scores uh, dot json okay so now if you want to see that uh, here if you see it has sa saved this file okay now if you open this file now here if you see your loss so this is the loss and this is the accuracy so here actually i have trained only one epoch so that's why loss is like very high and accuracy is like very low okay but if you are training for multiple epochs okay i think you will get a good model so that's how actually you can uh, save your evolution matrix okay now see i have now now here if you see i have my matrix okay now i, I can actually evaluate my model like how good this model is okay uh, so that's how actually it is important whenever you are trying to train any model okay better also create the evolution stage okay so i think yeah we have successfully created the evolution stage uh in our next video actually we'll be uh converting this thing as our modular coding but before that let's uh, commit the changes so i will open my terminal i'll just write git add git commit evaluation notebook and it and i'll just get push origin me yeah so i think it's done yeah so i think it's done uh so yes guys this is all about from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time